Hello and welcome. I'm Mo Blunts. Today we're going to be making something that I don't consider myself to be very good at making. However, I do love the dish that we're making today. I love it every time I eat it out at a restaurant. I love every time that I make it for myself. And every time I make it for myself, I get better. And that's sort of the point of cooking in the first place, is you're gonna get better at it every time you do it. So today we're gonna be making an Italian dish called carbonara. And I got everything right here. So sit back, relax, take some notes if you want to, and enjoy this episode of Mocha Mocha. For today's dish, of course we're gonna need some pasta, salt, and some fresh cracked pepper. We're gonna be chopping up some bacon. We're gonna be using some Parmesan and some Pecorino Romano cheese. We're gonna be using about two large eggs. We're gonna be using some extra virgin olive oil and I'm gonna be adding some white truffle oil just for good measure. And I'm gonna be chopping up some garlic and adding some fresh peas and some mushrooms. So I'm gonna start by chopping up my vegetables and throwing them into a bowl. And then I'm gonna get my pasta started with some water in a pot. Let's get that going. So the next few steps, I'm gonna be doing a few things at the same time. Number one, I'm gonna be getting my water started. So I'm gonna start boiling the water for the pasta. I'm gonna be getting the pasta in my pot. Number two, I'm gonna be whisking my eggs together. That's gonna to be the sauce later on for my carbonara. And number three, I'm gonna be starting to sear my chopped up bacon. That's going to be the start of my protein base for my pasta. So look at that going. I almost forgot the Zango Blunt's unfeeling of my new apron so I don't have to do my laundry so often. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to start by heating up my water here. I got my veggies all chopped up already. And I'm going to start chopping up some bacon. I'm cooking for two nights, so I'm going to do about six strips. While my water is heating, I'm gonna get my bowl out. I'm gonna whisk, it, whisk together a few eggs. So this is gonna end up being my sauce later on. This is my Pecorino Romano. I'm gonna make sure my eggs are nice and cheesy. I'm gonna whisk this together. There's some pepper. Whisk. As you can see, I'm still working on my first pot to boil here. So I'm gonna get the second pan going with my bacon pieces that I've got all chopped up. I'm gonna throw them in one by one. Make sure they're separated. Don't crowd the pan. Do not crowd the pan. Switch over here to my boiling pot of water. And get my noodles started. So my pasta's 
is getting kind of done. I'm going to drain this water, but I'm going to save one cup before I do that. So I'm going to grab my measuring cup. I'm just going to dip it in and I'm going to save one cup of my water here. I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to drain my water. So I am now down to one pot for my carbonara. I'm going to take my veggies and dump them in and get it cooked with my bacon. that extra virgin olive oil that we talked about. We're gonna do about mm, generous portion. Quarter to a half of a cup. And my white truffle oil, that's very strong. I'm not gonna use too much. Just a dash. Take that reserved cup of water. Get that in our pot. And then very quickly we'll get the rest of our pasta in there. Now it's a matter of mixing our pasta together with our vegetables and our bacon. Making sure the remaining water evaporates, the pasta gets cooked, and then we'll do our next step. So I'm about to the point where I'm gonna start removing my pot from the heat here. Because I know my pasta's getting cooked, and that's the primary ingredient. So I just turned my heat off. I'm gonna make sure that my pot cools down just a little bit before I do the next step. And this is very important. This is something you gotta keep in mind. Remember that, those eggs that we whisked together at the very beginning here? I'm gonna add this to my pot, but I don't wanna add it when my pot is too hot, otherwise the eggs are gonna to start to cook, and then you're gonna get a bunch of pasta with egg. I want this to be more like a sauce, so I'm gonna add it when it's starting to cool down just a little bit after I've taken it off of the heat. Oh yeah, there we go. That's more what we're going for. Still gonna be hot when we plate it up. But it's gonna be a creamy sauce. Not like cooked egg. of cheese, which wasn't too much. It's not over seasoned. 
There's just enough pancetta, but not too much. This is a, a perfectly balanced, fatty dish. And that's kind of what you want when you're going for carbonara, is you don't want it to be too fatty. It's really great. I highly recommend giving it a shot at home. Thanks for joining me today. Join me next time. Check out my other show. Please like and subscribe if you like what you're watching. We'll see you next time on the next episode of Mocos. Let's cook something new.